Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today I'm going to share the IBPS RRB scale to GBU exam strategy. Uh, I'm going to share a proper plan by uh, using this plan. You can complete your preparation for IBPS RRB within I think like uh, five weeks, right? So let's start. This is a exam pattern, reasoning ability, quantitative aptitude and data interpretation. 40 questions but there are 50 marks 40 questions 50 marks uh, for rest of the paper financial awareness 40 questions 40 marks English 40 questions 40 marks and computer knowledge 40 questions and 20 marks one more important things a lot of students ask me sir uh, should I uh, take the exam uh, take this English language or Hindi it all depends upon you uh, if you're good at English take English uh, if you are not, if you are really bad at in English, right? अगर आपकी English बहुत खराब है, आपको लगता है कि 10 mark भी नहीं आएंगे. I mean, out of 40, you are not, uh, you are not even able to score 40. Then you can take Hindi, right? But I do not highly recommend Hindi language because what I have noticed, it is relatively easier to score good marks in. Hindi में score करना मुझे लगता है थोड़ा सा easy. So 40 questions, uh, 50 marks, see uh, what I can expect, the cutoff should be between 70 to 75, the overall cutoff and you can score at easily 20 to 20, 25 to 30, you can easily score in financial awareness, even like 25 to, to 30 easily in English language, it, it's really easy actually. Normally are what I have seen 10 to 12 marks in computer knowledge that that's what I have noticed in quantitative aptitude 50 marks are there around 30 30 this is what I have noticed see it is actually really easy even if you are scoring let's say like 15 marks here 15 marks here 15 here like 15 again here even then you will be able to uh, to reach the cutoff right uh, but it's it's a really bad score. You should, should not uh, make a target of such a low score, right? At least 30 marks here, which is not uh, not that difficult, right? So let's just start with that uh, our study plan. See students, agar maine pehle percentage bola to do the percentage in the beginning, right? Right? If I'm telling you to start with percentages and interest, you should start with percentages and interest because uh, once you are done with the percentages, then you will be able to solve the data interpretation sets. Okay, so data interpretation, it has the most weightage. You can practice the data interpretation in week two, the DI in the week two, as well as in the week three. It's up to you. You should start with the percentages and interest. Simple percentages, simple ratios. Uh, even before that, if you if you do not remember the tables, that should be uh your priority give one day at least one day at least learn tables up to 30 25 to 30 learn table up to 30 that should be your priority then move on to percentages and interest uh, the ratios and proportion partnership and profit and loss these are the easiest chapters in the quantitative aptitude section and you should be able to solve simple questions related to partnership, profit and loss, percentages, interest, ratios and proportion to solve the data interpretation sets, right? So after doing these four chapters, move on to the data interpretation, right? So data interpretation, there is no proper methods, but it is actually kind of, you know, the aptitude, right? So you just, you just need to jump on to the practice sets of data interpretation once you're done with these chapters jump on to the practice set practice set apne karne hai. in the week two start with the time and work really easy then after time and work you need to do pipes and system right after time and work because concept kafi same hai. then time speed and distance after time speed and distance move on to problems based on trains and then boats and stream because concept is quite similar then in the week three mixture and allegation maybe you'll be getting one or two questions then ages and averages like one or two questions from these particular topics area and volume number series maybe you'll be getting zero to five question maybe zero no question maybe five question then quadratic equation that's it in all these three weeks you can practice the data interpretation because data interpretation is the most important part of quantitative aptitude right maybe there will be three sets 
maybe there will be four sets of data interpretation which is, which is quite common these days move on to the reasoning ability start with the syllogism uh i recommend solving syllogism using the venn diagram okay i have already done a video about it then uh, after the syllogism move on to the blood relations then machine input output inequalities coding decoding direction sense test in the week one you can do these chapters really easy then in the week two uh, start with the puzzles uh, once you are done with these chapter only then you should move on to the puzzles and seating arrangement because uh, uh, if you have not completed the blood relations then it would be kind of difficult to solve a puzzle right so you should solve a puzzle first uh, you should do the blood relation chapter first then move on to the puzzles and seating arrangement in the week two and you can uh, repeat solving puzzles and seating arrangement in week three it takes time what time lagta hai puzzle ko jaldi solve karne ke liye it takes time uh, but as you do not have that much of time and you do not uh, need like uh, out of 40 you don't need 35 you just need like 20 25 so uh, just do your practice right then order and ranking then all these statements uh, and assumption statements and uh, conclusion cause and effect statement and arguments uh, you can do these chapters within like uh, two to three days. It's really easy, really easy. Two, three days within two, three days, you can do these stuff. This is actually kind of one topic, but within two to three days, you can easily solve it. Learn it. Then in the financial awareness uh, section, I have divided it into three parts. The first one, the the latest updates, except the update from RBI, SEBI and NABAD. So all the government schemes. The latest, I have made a list of latest 205 government schemes. Just go through it. Really important. What you need to learn? The purpose of government scheme, which ministry launched it, right? And latest updates related to that particular scheme, right? Really important. The union budget is also really important. You are going to find at least three to four questions from union budget only. I have already done four, I think five videos from union budget on this channel, right? Uh, the latest com uh, committees from the UK Sinha committee, uh, the Puri committee, all the latest committees are really important, right? The latest appointments are important, uh, international reports and indices, even the national reports and indices are really, really important. All these topics are really important. I have covered all these topics on bank exams today's uh, GBO course, right? So in the week two, uh, you need to focus on some static topics. Some of the static topics are related to derivatives, uh, financial money market instrument financial instruments mutual funds insurance products uh, international summit is kind of the dynamic uh, it is in the week one okay so in the week two you need to do the static topics then the week three the latest update from uh, financial institution like sebi rbi nabad nhb really really important the latest updates we have done a proper analysis uh, of the latest updates from the financial institution. You can read that on Bank Exam Today's mobile app or, as well as on the bankexamstudy.com. In the English language, just read the grammar notes and do the practice. That's it. I mean, uh, English language is a kind of section which you cannot improve within a week or two. It takes time, right? It takes year, years. It is a language. I mean, uh, you cannot improve your English score with uh, within a preparation of like a two or three weeks, six months. But uh, it depends. I mean, there are many students who do not even prepare for English language, but they end up getting the 25 plus scores. It, it is quite common, right? So practice is really important. Read a basic grammar notes if you're bad at English. Otherwise, you can just jump to the uh, practice sets that's really important practice the reading comprehensions practice the para jumbles practice of fill in the blanks that's really important computer knowledge uh, see the notes are not going to help you that much because the syllabus is open ended right so uh, the syllabus kind of syllabus is like uh, the hardware software the computer uh, operating system basics internet terms ms office history of computers the shortcuts of MS Office, MS Excel, MS PowerPoint, uh, networking, the start topology and all, right? Routers and all, database, uh, security tools and viruses. Out of 40 questions, uh, like 20, 22 questions will be really, really easy. Even if you do not prepare anything, uh, if you are good at computers, you will be able to mark 20, 22 questions correct. 
right if you're good at computers if you're if you're good at technology otherwise if you read the notes provided by us that will improve your score by like eight seven to eight marks only okay so students we have a proper ibps gbo scale to course in which we are providing video classes notes and test series we are providing analysis of all the topics of uh, the financial awareness section also for the computer awareness for the quant for uh, data interpretation for reasoning and also for the english so i recommend you to take a demo on bank exams today's mobile application or go to learn.bankexamstoday.com so you can also call us 9067201000 uh, that is our mobile number and you can also whatsapp us okay on the on the same number whatsapp us on the same number so this is a list of students who recently cracked the rba grade b ibps so marketing sebi grade a nabad grade a bank of india credit officer and students we are also providing a proper course on marketing officer for ibps rrb marketing officer scale 2 for we are also providing a course for scale 3 and also for the agriculture officer okay so all these courses are available on bank exams today's mobile app and you can also get the course on learn.bankexamstoday.com in case of any doubt you can call us back so thank you and have a very nice day bye